Hi guys, I wanted to do an installment of my car diaries. Um, today is March 1st, 2013, and I am so glad that I started this because it's just another tool to make me be accountable for losing weight. I've been doing it for the past three days. This is my third day, yeah, and I'm glad to know or glad to tell anybody who's listening that I am at 194. So I'm down four pounds in three days. So it's just another tool to make me be accountable for um, you know the weight. So I, I'll take it. 194. Woo! Yay! 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 Um, I'm on my way to uh, my daughter left her glasses I think in this restaurant. I have to go find her glasses so that's what I'm doing today I stopped in a dollar store and just kind of looked around no big deal picked up a couple of hooks no big deal picked up some cheese the girls love that uh, string cheese by Sargento that they have there um, I'm about to pass a big lot should I go in I don't think so I really don't need anything um, so yeah that's good. Today, um, March is coming in. It looked like a uh, lamb because it was sunny just a second ago. I had my sunglasses on. Now I see it sprinkling and it's cloudy. So I'm not sure what the weather is about to do. Okay, so just wanted to do an installment. Drinking my green smoothie. I'm hungry though. I got a little green smoothie left. I'll make myself drink that. I think I may stop in here and pick up some fish. Yeah, they have really good fish that the kids will like tonight for dinner. There's an Ollie's place. I wasn't impressed with it. I'm just driving on by. <laughs> and I'm gonna stop in and pick up some fish. There's a Big Locks next door to the place I get fish. I probably won't even go in Big Locks because I have no need to buy anything. And um, I need to get home and get finished cleaning up, so. This smoothie is warm because it's been sitting in the car for about an, maybe an hour. But that's okay. I'm going to finish it. And that's it. So happy to be 194. I'll take it. And hope to be down even further tomorrow. You guys get to watch me really drive found the park oh actually I tried on some swimsuit also when I was in Marshalls uh, I, I actually tried on a two-piece can you believe it wow <laughs> I've never even worn a two-piece before so I doubt very seriously if a two-piece will be in my future but it was fun trying it on it was a cute Mark Jacobs swimsuit they wanted I forget how much they wanted maybe $24 for it it was peach and bone and um, it had a belt to it. It's just wrong to put a belt on a swimsuit. It made it look cute, but it was so unnecessary. I could get the bottom part on. It looked great. I may even upload a picture. The top part, the girls were all spilling out. It was an extra large. Um, but just curious to see how it would look in a swimsuit. And believe it or not, I mean, I've seen women on the beach with more than, more than I have hanging out. So I just know I wouldn't do it. All right, that's it. Uh, another installment of Car Diaries. Keep up the good work, Vivica. You are doing excellent. I'm going to probably even look into um, exercising to me. I'm not fond of it. And I guess it, I guess people say, well, you should be. It's, it's healthy. I get on a treadmill. I've gotten on a treadmill and I get pumped and hyped. But as far as me not living, you know, um, I know I need to start exercising. So I'm going to probably look into maybe some yoga. Like, I think that would be something nice I can do because I'm trying to get my muscles to look lean. So I'm going to probably do a little bit of research on YouTube and on the Internet to see, you know, what's the, th the thing is about yoga. I know it's not a weight loss thing, but something to keep me toned and uh, flexible. So I'll look into that. All right, guys, I guess I don't need the sunglasses. The sun is going back in. All right. Bye. Here's a picture of me in that swimsuit. Mark Jacobs, got a long way to go. Okay guys, back in the car. I just picked that fish up. Now, if I don't 
stray today smelling what I smell in this car on the East Coast we have grocery stores called Pathmark Pathmark makes the best fried chicken ever Pathmark makes the best fried whiting ever <laughs> and that's all I'm smelling because I just picked us up some for dinner tonight I'm going to try not to partake because I am at 194 and I need to review this on tape and I don't want to go back up again but baby let me tell you oh, that fish smells good it smells real good guys <laughs> it's kind of a treat because we don't really live near path mark so when I'm out this way I usually stop and for a minute Pathmark had gotten bad the chicken wasn't as good but they're back on point with chicken so oh, I didn't stop at Big Lots which is good I still have not finished all my green smoothie I think I made it a little bit too sweet for my taste uh, it's gotten warm I might try to choke it down I'm hungry and then I'm not hungry I was having headaches earlier this morning. I wasn't sure if it was from me not having, um, well, I really hadn't been drinking soda, so I know it's not a caffeine headache or sugar. Maybe it is because I'm not eating sugar except in the fruit. But um, Or maybe my scarf was too tight last night I had on my head. Maybe that was it. But I woke up this morning with a little bit of a headache, and it kind of reminds me of that caffeine headache when you stop uh, drinking sodas for the first time. All right, again, this chicken is smelling good, girl. But you're gonna be good, right? You're gonna be good. Shake your head up and down. Yes, I'm going to be good. I'm not gonna partake in any of that fish. That's sitting on the back seat, along with a nine-piece fried chicken. No, 12-piece fried chicken. No thighs. Ugh. <sighs> okay. Let me, let me see if I swallow some more of this. This has gotten warm. Yeah, this has gotten warm, but I'm going to finish it. I made it a little bit too sweet. As a matter of fact, the banana I put in it was really, really ripe, so that, that's what probably made it really sweet. And I used uh, the mixed fruit, frozen fruit by Doyle, instead of using the berries. That makes it sweeter also. And it keeps it green when you use mixed fruit versus berries. Berries turns it a darker color. Not that it matters because it's all good. It's all making you lose weight. Just stay focused. Be your own hype man today. Okay? All right, guys. So, I think I'm going to go home. It's starting to rain. We have choir rehearsal tonight. And that's it. just want to make sure I keep emphasizing that you will not eat any, any of that food back there. And you probably say, well, why'd you go? Why'd you even bother torturing yourself? It's almost like when you buy, I found Raisinets also. Well, I should make the whole, and you know what? It should be in moderation. It should not be a do or die type situation when it comes to changing the way you eat. I should be able to partake in whatever the family eats and the family should eat what they want to eat they don't have the weight issue they don't have the overindulgence issues they don't have the slower metabolism they don't have the 48 year old whose hormones are starting to change and she's not uh, able to eat like she used to they don't have the being sedentary all day basically sitting down driving not exercising my children you know they're moving in school my daughter walks from class to class my younger daughter She's just a spitfire, and she's young. They have age on their side, so they don't have a metabolism issue. They don't have a weight issue. My husband, on the other hand, he's actually dropped. I don't know how much weight he's lost, but he's a type. Or I can just drink water, <laughs> and he'll drop weight. I see his pants falling off of him, so I'm not going to deprive or stop buying. I had a girlfriend ask me. She said, girl, you got all this junk in here. No reason. But when I decide to not eat it, I don't eat it. And it sits there. And as a matter of fact, you can tell who the junk food eater is in the house. It's me. Because those Keebler cookies that I showed you on a video from February 15th, 
are still sitting in that same plastic bag. Girl Scout cookies this year. When we bought Girl Scout cookies, we actually had some left from a weekend. The Thin Mints, my daughter just opened, and there's still some left. I'm not a Thin Mint eater, but um, Karma Delights, those uh, Samoas, the little, you know, coconut kind, child, please. I could eat a whole package of that by myself, and that is no lie. So, I am getting a little hungry. I may go home and eat that, drink that other smoothie. As a matter of fact, I'm going to try to do that. Um, but... Yeah, and this is really just for you to see that you said you weren't going to drink it. I mean, eat it. Look at that forty and slip drink. <laughs> so if I decide to have a piece of fish tonight, and that's it's, that's a big if because I really don't want the weight to creep back up, and I really want to keep losing. Because what will happen is one piece of fish will not make me gain a weight, but it won't help me to lose either. You know, I've figured out my body almost. It's almost like a science. Like this week, I'm doing the smoothies. The middle of next week, the smoothies will stop working as far as making me lose weight. The body will start getting used to it and say, oh, okay, this is what she's doing. And then I have to train, change it up. I found this go-round that, um, you know... And I'm, I don't want you to think that I'm just a yo-yo dieter because I'm not. I've just been at the same size since my youngest daughter was born. And I'm wanting to lose weight. I went on a plan when my daughter, oldest daughter was five. And I lost uh, a significant amount of weight. But that, that time, this time now, and probably one other time is the only times I've technically been on a plan. Now, once before, I remember losing a lot of weight. Um, I used to own a janitorial business, and we had this big building. This was this is going back. My youngest daughter, was she even born yet? I mean, my oldest daughter, she may not even been born yet. And because I was moving, walking, you know, just moving, that building was huge. I had a, a huge contract. I was working it. And thus, uh, I walked off the weight, basically didn't change diet or anything I just really exercised and it came off and not saying okay I'm exercising I had to clean that building and you know it was a big building and not, I lost weight that way so to say I'm a yo-yo dieter no I, I really can't attest to that I just know I don't want to be heavy anymore and 194 is heavy when you're five ten and a half almost five eleven I would like to be down to 190. I'll take 185. And, you know, once I get to 185, may, maybe I'll even go to 180, 175, you know. I'm not going to be pencil thin because I've never been a skinny girl. But we'll see. We'll see. Again, I'm going to really look into that yoga, though, because I think now, because of just the age I am, I can tell the difference in my skin, how dry it is. I notice on video when I touch the camera how dry my hands are because guess what I'm washing my hands all the time trying not to catch the flu I even notice on my back being dry I don't know if that's just because I'm getting older so everything is changing all right guys I'm almost home and I have not reached, and before, I would have reached back in that back seat and pulled out a leg. I have not done that yet. I remember when I would get chicken like that, when the girls were younger, I would give them a leg, and they would eat that on the way home. So, I have not reached back there and got a leg yet, so that's good, and I'm almost home. So, the car diaries are working. Uh, this one will probably be under 15 minutes. So, alright, that's it. Bye.